So apparently it's another new update for your DJI Neo. Um, guys, it's pretty simple and I can't even believe it. What I've done, I've turned on my phone first, gone straight into my DJI Fly app. Guys, make sure that you've got the most up-to-date DJI Fly app um, because not necessarily you would get that update. Anyway, as soon as I turned it on, it was already downloading the update even before I turned this on. I've got it turned on now. Um, I've got, I'm on 8% at the moment, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to speed it up for you guys and um, I'll see you at the end of the uh, download. <laughs> okay, so it's downloaded onto my uh, phone at the moment and it's ready to install. Now, one thing I forgot to tell you guys, you didn't really need to turn on the drone. So, I'm going to turn on the drone because it says install. So we all know how to do that by the double tap at the back here. Okay, so that's on. Firmware is downloaded, make sure the device is power. So I'll say okay. I connect. So it's connecting now. Join the Wi-Fi. I think this is this is another issue that they had about the Wi-Fi connection. I think some people was having problems with that. So it's gone straight in. Um, and we're going to talk about, actually, about the menu on your phone now. So you've got the DJI Neo but you haven't got the controller with it because you know you can fly this drone without a controller. You need, obviously, your phone or your tablet, maybe. Most people would use their phone, I must agree. Um, but do you know how to change the settings? Because once you go into your DJI Fly app on your phone, you need to know what the settings are. So this is what this video is about. So the first thing you've got to do first, guys, you've got to remove your camera lens because you're going to be turning on the drone. So you remove the cover, so that's out of the way. You then turn on the, the drone itself. You know how to do that, hopefully, by double tap. So that's the drone on now. Obviously, making sure you've got full battery on there, just in case you're going to be on there a long time. You shouldn't be because it's not much as... There's not much to see on the settings, I must say. So, what I've got, I've got my phone with me. Most people use their phones. I can't, you, you, you can do it on your tablet, obviously. Making sure, obviously, you've got your DJI Fly app on there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into the DJI Fly app. Okay, there it is. It's come up on the screen. So it's the DJI Neo FF63. It's been detected, so we just press connect. It's disconnecting now. There's the uh, Wi-Fi join, so we join up the Wi-Fi. So I'll, obviously at the moment I'm in my study. Um, it's better to do it when you're back at home so you get a good connection, especially when you're doing the settings anyway. Okay, what's this about? Direction, track basics. Aircraft will follow movement, okay. This is something new I haven't noticed, so I'm just going to go through that as well. Direction track basics. Okay, right. After track taken off, the aircraft will fly forward. All right. So it's different. Return to the subject. Right. So, is that something new that I didn't know about? Because <laughs> I've never seen that before. Anyway. Here we are, we're on the screen now. Oh, I see what it is, I've got this. Right, so in the middle is what I class as the menu. Now, if I put on the, me the menu control, what will happen on your screen now, we, we've got take off. I'm not gonna take the drone off because we don't need to. You've got video or photograph on the left. You've then got the record button. You've then got a mic. We'll go into that more in another, in another video, guys. Um, so we got right at the top, we got takeoff permitted. We got 87 on the battery. Um, we got a good signal, but we don't worry about that. 
So further down, back in the middle again, on the left-hand side, that's to land the drone. Well, the drone's not in the air yet, so that's why it's not highlighted. Now next to it, we've got the, what they call the speech bubble. We've got voice control. Now on this, we'll go into this one for the moment. I will make another video of this because this is the voice control. Um, and this really excites me. So anyway, you're probably gonna find on the voice wake up, it's usually off. So put that on and the wake up word so if i say to it you have to press the button obviously hey fly you've got to say that word so you say hey fly and then it would say so every time you want to go hey fly waiting, waiting for, your, for command. your command it's waiting for my command so i had to say that a little bit louder then if you notice but every time you want to make a command you have to say hey fly I didn't, I didn't hear you, hear you clearly. clearly. So please, you repeat please repeat your command. your command. Okay. So anyway, you got, I'm not going to say it because I don't want the drone to do it. So you got recording, you got follow circle. So this will be in another video. I'm just giving you an idea uh, and you can make the drone come closer, higher, further away or lower. And obviously safety, uh, which I think is a pretty good, important one, land, stop, break. So that's your voice settings. And if we go back into manual, you're going to find when you buy the drone, it will be on follow. And you can tap to start if you wanted to. And if you watch my video where I didn't have no, didn't even have my phone, I could took it out of my pocket. You virtually watch that video. Really interesting. Um, so yeah, so that's that side of it. Album. Now I've <laughs> I've cleaned off all my videos. Um, what's interesting, when you first get this drone, it's already been set on 4K 30 frames. Um, and I've done some video shots. I've done another video on how to transfer your videos from your drone to your, either your computer or even your phone. I think it's better to do it to your computer. It's far quicker and you're not draining power off your drone. Okay, so we can come out of that. Um, the next one, obviously the middle one is um, the actual drone itself. We're not gonna do anything with that in here, that's for sure. Settings, so here we go. We got follow. Now if I tap on follow, you've got a little image up there and you can change it close or far away. And it's just giving you a, a little video, an, an idea really. Uh, and it's pretty self-explanatory. And it's the same with the drone. With the drone, you can sort out the distance. Bit like when you've got your Mini 4 Pro and you're going through quick shots. Very similar, but it's all on your screen. Um, and then you've got custom. And you can do close, medium, far away, uh, low, flat, or high. So that's, you know, that's about it, guys. It's pretty basic, I must say. Camera settings. You haven't got a lot of choice really. Now, like I said before, it was on 4K for me, which is 30 frames. I always have it on 1080. Now, when you do it on 1080, you've got a few more choices, 30 frames. I do, I always have it on 1080, 60 myself. I quite like that. Color profile, that's all we got, <laughs> normal. Now, I will be in the next week or so, um, I'll be getting some filters from, um, I'm going to put it there because I've forgotten it. I shouldn't do because they're pretty good to me. Anyway, I'll be getting some filters very soon. They're magnetic filters and especially out here in Spain. I did notice when I was looking at the footage, it's a little bit blown out. So it does need to be toned down a bit. So I think the filters are going to be a big help. Um, we got the format. Now I've got it on uh, 265. I'm not into all the, the setting stuff, but... 265 is fine by me. Now, the photo format at the moment is JPEG. Now, I won't be surprised in the next couple of weeks there'll be another update on this drone and there'll be a, probably a choice between JPEG and RAW. But at the moment, you've just got JPEG. Um, aspect ratio, 16.9, which is most what most people have it on. Uh, the photo resolution is 12 megapixel. Now, these could change, especially the photo resolution that could change in another update now at the bottom because you've got an internal card 
Good idea after every flight, guys, just empty it off. I mean, you've got 22 gig. That's pretty big. Even when you, I was doing the 4K, that's pretty big. You've got a lot of space there. But I always download it all and then format a card so you know you've got a nice clean card. And to format, you just press on format. You just confirm it and it'll let you know once it's done. So that's that part. More settings, okay? Calibrate, compass, okay. I didn't realize that. And cap and bait. Battery cycle count, I got one. We've then got control. Um, yep, I mean, I'm a feet and inches man myself, about. And then here we got, we got all the stuff on here about um, the name. Obviously, it's going to tell you about the, the, the firmware, the app version. Yeah. And you can reset all that if you wanted to and clear the data, if you wanted to. I wouldn't touch any of that. So, that, to be honest, guys, is it. And I've just noticed, going back onto the main DJI Neo screen, they still want me to do that DJI Carefree Fresh. <laughs> we talked about that before in another video. But anyway... Hope you found that interesting. Um, I can assure you there'll be loads more videos coming very soon. Mm -hmm.